Hey, and welcome to my Twitch roll on how to play uh, Animal Crossing Wild World for the DS. Um, I've been playing this game for quite some time now. Um, and I actually do have a character of my own plus a backup character. And of course my sister's character, but I'm going to make another one. So that I could show you what to do from the beginning, and I apologize ahead of time for any shakiness that you may see. Um, because it is kind of hard to hold the Game Boy still for quite some time. Alright. New resident. Now, um, if you're new to the game, it'll probably say begin a new world or something like that. I'm not sure. I cannot remember. Yes. It's been a couple months since I actually started a new world. My own. This is my second world. Okay, so... You have, don't see your character yet. The questions at Captain or Cap'n um, asks you will determine um, what your character's like. And I'm just gonna go ahead because there is a lot of talking. Um, I don't like the rain. Well, I do, but I want this character to not. So I'll say no. I forgot your name. Um, I'm gonna go by. I'm gonna name it after one of my pets. So it's going to be a boy, Diego, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and skip the dialogue and everything. If you need to read it, then you can go ahead and stop. You could say if you're not a boy, but that'd be kind of weird. Um, that would be nice. Don't want him too mean. Yep. Um... It's always rainy when you get there, so this is a weird thing. Okay. Mm, looks like I arrived wearing a purple shirt. been three minutes. Now actually your character just moves on his own at the beginning. And moved in. And it's Pelly. And she's nice. With Gizmo and Gabriel. Amber is my first character and that actually is me. Gizmo is was another one of my pets and Gabrielle is my sister so a lot of D or G's alright um so this is the map my towns basically split off in two I have seen some towns where they've got three different rivers so use this map. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and say I know how to do it because I will show you and it's a lot quicker than her version. Um, Alright. So... Just trying to adjust the screen so you can see it better. All right, so to do the map, um, if you can see my finger, you hit the Y button. I okay, know, Y button brings up your pocket. You hit the X, and that brings up your map. Um, and you can slide down and see where everyone lives on the different uh, 
town, the shop, the tailor, town hall, which we're currently at, museum, and the main gate. As far as I've seen, the main gate seems to be at the same area for every game. Okay, so since you're new to this town, you're going to want to go straight to your house. And I know exactly where I'm going because, like I said, I have played this for a while. Little bones. Then go in. And the first floor of the house is my floor for my players. I have quite a few friend pictures, a couple trophies. My theme basically here is green, although I do have a couple of stuff. Like a TV. Usually if you were here, your house would have a cardboard box. A candle and a radio. And you'd have very ugly looking wall. Oops. I didn't want to go out. Dang it. Alright, well, we'll go back in in a minute. I don't have a choice. Let me see. Okay. So I'll have to go back in in a minute. Now, this automatically happens. This is Tom Nook. And he comes and talks to you. Now, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and skip through it, and you can come back and read it any time. You can be so most sarcastic as you want with him. I'm not, he's not my favorite person in this game. Very cheapskate, I guess you could say. Yes, I need to pay it off. Yes, uh, that is quite a bit. But for you, um, your first is like 10,000, I think. But this is, and I will show you why in a minute, why it is so expensive. Better to learn, and no matter what you do, you always have to go and work for him at the beginning. So, I'm not too happy with it myself. fact, I wish there was a way you didn't have to do this. And he runs away. Sorry if the screen's a bit blurry. Okay, so I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to show you why. First I'm going to go upstairs. So as you notice, that my room is quite big. Now, normally it's not like that. And I'll show you why. Go up here. This is my sister's room. It's very bright. She actually designed her wall and her floor. I do a lot of designing too, but these clothes over in the corner I designed for her. But this is a small room, and this is actually the normal size that your house would be in to begin with. And I added on the second floor. So, I'll go upstairs real quick. And this is the attic. Now, this would actually be your second floor, but for me, it's my third. There's my main character. There's Gizmo, my backup. And there's my sister. Now, I just created this new character just because I could, so I could show you what everything's like from the beginning. I did not redo my town, though, because I've worked hard to get it the way it is now. And I really don't want to lose that. Alright, let's go. So, we'll go straight to Tom's store. Now, I know where it is, but being new, you most likely would not know in your own place. So, I'd hit the X to bring up the map. Hit the orange button and hit shop. And that little spot over here, it's blinking. That's Tom Nook's shop. Now, for me, that's just a little ways up to the right. But for you, it could be in a different area. Like my last town, it was over in this area. And the river was down here. So everyone's town will look different. You may once in a while get the same town. In fact, one of you may even have a town like mine. But you don't. So. Alright. So. You can hold the B 
L or R as you walk to run. Okay, here's the shop. Now, because I've been playing for a while, the shop is quite big for me. I'm closest to the uh, next big one. Um, biggest, and I can't have the biggest because I don't have Wi-Fi. Um, your shop usually would be brown on the outside, like a little shack. Let's see, I need to change into some work clothes. So, yeah. Alright. Okay. So, I'm running out of time. So, I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to save it. Now, you can go back to your house and sleep in the bed. But it's better to hit start. And it will say you want to quit playing. And you sit save and end. And I will explain to you what later. Why you always need to save your game before going off. Um... That's the end of the first turret roll, and I hope you enjoyed it, and when I come back for the second one, we will work on uh, Tom Nook's quests. Alright, thanks everybody for watching.